Shalom, Kohaloyim La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to our sense of Akim out there is pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone, Miami Camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Bahashem Rahakudash. In this lesson, I want to speak on this article that you see right here. This is from naturalnews.com entitled Collapse Incoming. European nations start rationing food and fuel. Collapse incoming. European nations start rationing food and fuel. This was posted Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. Okay, this is new. Current, uh, uh, you know, currently in the news right now. And this is all biblical prophecy. This is something that our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the men before them, as well as the uh, the men under them, have been warning the the inhabitants of the earth, okay, f for years now. This is this is just one of the one major prophecy. One of the few. Well, one of many, actually, uh, major prophecies that's getting ready to take place on on a wide scale throughout the planet Earth. OK. A mass famine is coming. Mass famine, mass death, mass thirst. OK. You're going to have a lot of people out here dying of starvation and and uh lack uh thirst man lack of water lack of bread because the scriptures prophesied it the scriptures told us that these things would take place that these things is going to happen all right so let's read a little bit of this article man this this is proof that we are indeed in 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 the last days we are indeed in the times that our lord yahweh warned us about that that would you know lead leading up to his return this is one major sign that <laughs> this is it okay you got these different nations actually rationing food actually you know measuring out how much people can get uh no more are the days where you so-called Americans can get up and go to Publix or Walmart, Kroger, wherever you go and do your shopping and you could just, you know, like Costco and just hoard up a bunch of food and take as much as you want. Okay, and then eat a little bit of it or throw it away <laughs> in the garbage. Okay, uh, uh, most of the food here in, in, in Babylon the Great, especially, you know, these other uh, Western nations, as the scriptures say, they, you know, Babylon, they live, they, they live deliciously. They live without care. You got people around the earth for, for years have been starving and having to ration food and not know what it's like to, you know, just eat whatever they want. They just, they, they got to eat what's available to them over here in the West, man, you could, you could eat whatever you want. Okay, they got imports going in from all different countries. You can you you know you can eat different fruit that's not even in season. Cause Esau uh, with his uh, wizardry you know how to grow stuff that's you know is there some a type of fruit supposed to bloom in the summer, but you can eat it year year round. How is that? Okay, but all these things is getting ready to come to an end. All right. It says countries all over the world, especially in Europe, mm, have started implementing policies that ration food and fuel. Europe's struggles with its food and fuel supplies began after most nations on the continent imposed economic sanctions on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine. Okay, so they're 
they they they're using this thing with uh you know the sanctions that were put on Russia, okay, because of of them going to Ukraine. They, that's that's leading to uh food shortages. That's disrupting the natural uh trade of of goods and you know uh, and uh products from uh between these different nations okay which is all orchestrated this is all part of the nwo agenda order ab ko okay the elites of this world they the all these different wars are are set up by the elite they're all wars are bankers wars and they have their different uh you know agendas planned they have their reasonings for going to war and they fund both sides Okay, but this whole thing going on with Russia and Ukraine, that's set up by the elite. And everything that's coming out of it is planned, it's orchestrated, has been uh, planned and, you know, well thought out for, for decades. Okay, so what's going on right now because of this, this is all a uh, part of the plan. The elites want to starve out the the masses of people they want to bring the people to their knees so that they can beg for uh succor so they can beg for help and that help is gonna come <laughs> okay <laughs> well, it really won't be no true help but they only gonna help you if you if you get that karagma that's what it's all leading to okay this threatened the flow of already critical commodities in Europe and threatened to collapse already struggling global supply chains. All right, because of what our, you know, what happened in 2020 when the whole world shut down. We're still feeling economic uh you know effects. We're still feeling the different domino effect that that happened from that. And with all that, you, you got to deal with this on top of that. You see, so it's, it's when you really add up the pieces, it's clear to see all this is orchestrated. Okay. As a result, the prices of everything from oil to wheat have soared. You, right, you see the gas prices going up and everything is going up. And ultimately, it was going up anyway because the dollar is losing its value. Okay, which that's, that's a whole uh, another topic. But it's all leading to the same thing. Okay. As a, res as a result, the prices of everything from oil that we have soared, leading to multi-decade high inflation rates. Right. Supplies of these essential products have also dwindled after exports from Russia were completely strangled. <laughs> so you think these different world leaders don't uh, factor in these things when they uh go to war and when they make war of course they they factor all these things as they know what's going to come out of the different decisions they make okay biden putting sanctions on russia and you know these different western nations european union putting sanctions on russia you don't think they know what's going to come out of that of course they do but it's all part of a plan all right Sunflower oil, wheat, dairy, and gas are being rationed. In Spain, the country started experiencing sporadic shortages of different products like eggs, milk, and other dairy products almost immediately following the outbreak of the war in Ukraine. In early March, major supermarkets like Mer Mercadona and Marco began rationing sunflower oil. <laughs> okay, so the, those these merchants... <laughs> Uh, are feeling it, man. Spain's left-wing government even went further and gave stores the option to temporarily impose limits on the number of certain products customers purchase. In Greece, at least four national supermarket chains have started rationing food products like flour and sunflower oil due to critically low supplies caused by the crippled supply chains coming out of Russia and Ukraine. Okay, so 
these different nations are feeling it. And you know, this article goes on and it, you know, goes into some other things. But the point is, this is something to get used to. This is something that's going to amplify and, and it's going to make its way over here to the, the, the uh, U.S. soil, okay? The soils of, of Babylon the Great is coming. We know it's coming first and foremost by the prophecies because it's in the word of the Lord and, and we see it's happening in, in these different current events. So when we see these things happen, that's just a, the Lord knocking. That's the Lord saying, get ready, I'm coming, man. And the prophets uh, warned you first. This is a, a call, a stern warning to our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to, to wake up. Wake the hell up, man. All right? The days are coming where you're not going to, we've been telling you for years, the days are coming where you're not going to be able to get up and go into these stores and and get your just go open the, the the freezer door and get your gallon of milk and get your cheese and all your eggs and all that shit okay it's going to be dog eat dog out here you're going to have more people getting uh attacked coming out of the grocery store getting attacked bringing your groceries in your neighbor is going to attack you man all these these things is is, is happening and it's going to happen it's going to increase Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, with that being said, we could uh, get some some precepts. All right. We 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 uh, bring these scriptures out all the time. Okay, but every time we bring it out, it it becomes more and more closer closely felt so to speak it's, it's the prophecies are starting to hit closer to home okay and we, we like we said with this this scripture right here may seem repetitive but it, it not so much no more you can repeat something to someone a thousand times like perfect example with the motb you got certain people will say well gms all they talk about is the motb well it when, once it happened if you have not have uh hearkened if you have not repented and accepted you know what you know for the motb to be what our apostles and elders and brothers on down what we say it to be if you have not been preparing your mind for that when it happens it, it's it's gonna be like we ain't say it enough <laughs> for certain people man because they're not gonna listen same thing with this scripture right here. It's 2nd Edges 15 and 19. Well, it's not at 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Right, and there's no one more proud than, or no place, I should say, that's more proud, generally speaking, the, the people, the inhabitants of the land than the uh, so-called United States of America. The, the people that dwell here are, are the most proud people on the face of the earth. You, you have the most proud nation, which are the Edomites, the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man. But the American so-called white man, he's the most proud man. And right after him is them, them damn European devils. So it's, it's good that they being touched right now. The most I jacking them up. And even it, it's funny because it's by the hand of your own people. You got these high, super rich elite. Edomites, they could care less about your average everyday Edomite, man. You 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 gonna be sacrificed, okay, in their eyes for the greater good. Alright? But it says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And this is happening, but it's getting ready to happen on a whole new level. When when SHTF, okay, verse 19, a man shall have no pity. On his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see that? So it's going to be dog eat dog out here very soon. It's going to be a lack of food, a lack of bread. What's that? Rations, famine. 
Okay? People fighting for the, the little bit of crumbs that's left. That's great tribulation, man. That's what we're getting ready to see. All right? And this has happened in the ancient times before. And it's getting ready to happen all over again. And ultimately, we, we're speaking about these devils being touched. But ultimately, the, the Mosai is doing all this to jack up your tribes. Okay? You got Israelites in Spain. You got Israelites in Greece. You got Israelites in every country on the planet. Throughout the, the, the nations. All right? That's why it's called the hour of Jacob's trouble. So what's getting ready to happen is Babylon is being, well, what's happening is a, what we spoke on before. It's a digital siege. Just like in the ancient times, you had uh, nations, different cities, different kingdoms that had walls built around them. You had different, you know, enemies of that kingdom would, would come up against them and try to block off cut cut off their supply chain and, and surround the city so that they can't get no food in and that would weaken them until they to the point where they couldn't fight and defend themselves and the enemy would rush in and destroy them that's what's hap that's what's getting ready to happen on a on a whole new level on a whole new scale you have the elites they're the one they're they're physically or should i say they're uh intentionally disrupting the different supply chains of the of the globe so that they can weaken these different nations and the, and the inhabitants of the nations so when they come down with that sword which that's coming right after is go, it's going to be that much easy okay and they don't have to physically surround the city no more all they got to do is a uh, cyber attack okay and then blame it on russia Okay, or, or blame the wars and, and uh, what's going on with Russia. That's the reason why gas is going up. That's the reason why your food is is uh, so much more expensive than it usually is. Okay, it's it's a a, a, a digital siege. Cut off the internet. Oh, you, you you can't you know cut off the do an EMP. You can't you know trucks can't uh you know trucker strike. They can't. Bring the fools into the city because they're messed up. You know, these devils got a lot of tricks. All right. But this has happened to our people before in the past and it's getting ready to happen again. All right. And Ezekiel spoke on it. This is Ezekiel, the fourth chapter and 16. Get straight to the point. And Lord, will I close out on this. All right. This is a perfect example of rationing. A staff is something that's something you depend on. That's your strength. So the Lord said he's going to break the staff of, of bread in Jerusalem. I mean, he's going to cut off the food supply chains. All right. It says in Jerusalem, but Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. It's talking about for you, you tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. The most High is going to cut off your food. That's when that's when you're going to feel it, man. That's when you're going to want to serve the Lord. But it's going to be too late. And it, it, it's, it's going to come upon the whole world. These other nations are going to feel it too. But it's mainly to get you, 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 you tribes. All right. And they shall eat bread by weight and with care. And they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. So what that mean? That means you're going to have to receive rations. You, you carefully measuring out how much you're going to eat and how much you're going to drink. Gone are the days where you can just be a total glutton and whatever left, you just throw it away. <laughs> okay? Those days is, is gone, man. You're go, you, you going to have to carefully measure what you, oh, this day I'm only going to eat 
uh, two ounces of, of this rice. Okay, we can only drink one cup of water today. Okay, that's the times we, we get ready to go into. And you got these different preppers and people in the uh, prepping community starring up big bags of rice and big bags of beans and guns and water and all that. That shit ain't gonna mean nothing for you in that day if you don't have, uh, if you ain't a part of the elect, straight up. Okay, so is it wise to you know have a extra in your house? Of course. Is it wicked to want to get a little bit of extra food? Nah. But just know that's not going to save you. What's going to save you is your relationship with Yahweh Bashmi Shah, your faith and your works, and ultimately you being of the elect. Okay? Verse 17, that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquity. And that's what's getting ready to happen. Our people are getting ready. A lot of a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America and, and uh, throughout the four corners of the earth are getting ready to starve to death. Okay? And and the Lord said that it's worse to starve than to be uh, to shot, to be, uh, you know, get shot to death or stabbed to death. It's worse to, to starve to death. That's a slow death, okay? The scriptures say, for, for these pine away. <laughs> Roughly paraphrasing, man. So that's just something I wanted to, to speak on, all right? You got these different uh, European nations rationing food and, and, and supplies right now. So that's a, a big sign of, of what's to come, okay? So, hey, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Until the next one, Shalom.